Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the year 2020, new decade. Wow, is that exciting? Anyway, um, today's video, I'm going to be talking about mugwort and the benefits of mugwort and how you can incorporate mugwort into your skincare regime. I have a couple of products that I'm going to be talking about. And when I decided to do this video, I thought it'd be like a really, really quick video. Just talk about these two products and be done. But as I started kind of digging into um, the herb mugwort and because I kind of wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a, a um, science lesson, so to speak, um, or a botany, botany lesson on um, the mugwort. And I have all my notes here. Um, basically, this is all on just the mugwort itself and the product notes are on this back page. Um, I, got, I found out some very interesting things on mugwort that I didn't know and I thought well I'm going to share that with you before I talk about the two products so hang tight hang till the end because there's going to be a surprise at the end so um, anyway so mugwort what is mugwort well mugwort is a common name for several species of ar aromatic plants in the genus or the class um, of Artemis, Artemis, Artemisies, <laughs> and I just listened to how to say that, Artemisies. So um, you may see a, a product that doesn't say mugwort, it may say Artemisi, Artemisia, which is A-R-T-E-M-I-S-I-A. -I -I so it could be listed as either mugwort as, or as its scientific name. Artemisia. So there's mugwort. So it is a plant, a root plant, and I'm going to insert a picture here of what it is. It is a leafy plant that is related to ragweed. Um, so a lot of people here in the United States, as silly as what we are, we think that it is a nuisance plant and because we it is related to ragweed and it can produce allergy-like symptoms like the ragweed. And so we have a tendency to chop it down if it's growing wild within a vicinity of where we're living at, especially if we are allergic. So there you have it here in the United States, we not, we need not um, respect it as much as what our um, other countries like Asia and Europe and Africa and places like that have respected it. Um, another thing that I found out, found out about is um, the products that I have are actually a Korean skincare brand. And I had just assumed that this product, mugwort, was originated from Asia, but it's not. It originated from Europe, which I thought was kind of interesting. So I'm assuming that the Asian merchants, when they were traveling, you know, traveled to Europe and found this herb and found how the Europeans were using it and took it and traveled back to their country and implemented it in their culture and started using it. Um, it has been used as far back as 3 BC. Um, there have been poems, poems, poems um, in the Chinese culture as far back as 3, P 3 BC where the mugwort or Artemisia has been mentioned. So in that culture, as far back as 3 BC. So that's that's pretty pretty old. <laughs> that's, that's a long time that um, this herb has been used. Um, it is used um, in um, medicinal ways as far as ingesting it. Um, a lot of ways 
The most common way to ingest it is in a tea form and from the root of the plant. And it's good for sleep support, for stress, for digesting, um, for your di digestion problems, for relaxing, helps with stress, those type of issues. And the major use in Korea, J Japanese, and Chinese traditional practice of moxie bustin, which is where the herb is placed directly on the skin attached to like the acupuncture needles or it is um, rolled into sticks and then waved gently over to the skin or the area to be treated. But in all instances of how it's used, it's always lit, lit and caught on fire. So just think if those acupuncture needles are put into your skin and it's got the herb on it and then they catch it on fire. So you got a little fire <laughs> onto your skin, but it's um, moxie bunch, moxie bustion. So I never had heard of that. So anyway, that is how it's used on the skin or used um, in the body internally that I could find. And I know there was a lot more ways that it has been used. And I'm sure that you can find vitamins, um, supplements that have the mugwort in it that you can take internally. I did see as I was looking all this up, of course, you know, there's all these different ads that pop up, you know, with the mugwort supplements to take. So what is the, the benefits for mugwort for the skin? Well, mugwort for the skin is antibacterial, it's antifungal, and it's anti-inflammatory properties. Um, it heals and nourishes the skin. It can help treat redness. It's good for um, psoriasis and other skin sens sensitivities. Um, it also has antioxidants in it. Um, vitamin E that helps protect and nourish the skin barrier. It's a very hydrating. Um, soothing to the skin and it's really good just really for anybody any kind of skin types of skin can use it um, like oily combination um, dry sensitive um, inflamed skin if your skin is irritated it's really good for any type of skin that is suffering for those ailments so the two products that I have one is a mask and one is an essence. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the mask. And both of these are from the brand I'm from. I purchased both of these. They're, this is not a sponsored video or a PR or anything like that. This is just some products that I had. I wanted to talk about, you know, the, the ingredient. And so the first one is the mugwort mask from I'm from. And this is like a gel type mask and I will be inserting a picture of what it looks like on the skin. I had it on this morning when my son dropped off the green baby. He looked, he's like, what is on your skin? I'm like, well, it's a mask. He's like, it looks like a vomit on your skin because it has pieces of mugwort in it. So it does look a little, it does look a little icky and you'll see it looks like you've got um, pond scum on your face. But anyway, here's what it looks like in the jar. This will run you around $35. It is a rinse off. You leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes. And um, it's cooling on the skin for one thing. So that's how, you know, they say it's really good for irritated skin, um, red irritated skin. It's soothing. Um, it will calm and soothe irritated or sensitive skin. It helps to detoxify the skin. Um, it does have 21% of the mugwort. It also has, it's a gel formula that preserves the active ingredients of the plant extracts and delivers their benefits directly to the skin. It has other extracts in it like green tea, licorice, chamomile, rosemary, rose, Japanese, um, not wood root, just different um, extracts in it that's really beneficial to the skin. So that is the product there. And um, I use it 
about once every couple of weeks and I really do enjoy it. I do find that it's very hydrating, like I said, very cooling to the skin. It's very soothing. It doesn't irritate. It doesn't dry out the skin. Um, I like using it this time of year and I do recommend it, especially if you have irritated skin or if you suffer from redness, it's very, it is very calming and very soothing to the skin. I mean, I can't say anything else about it other than what it claims to do is what it does. And um, have not had any irritations from it. And it doesn't really um, dry completely down. Um, it may, if you leave it on longer than the 20 to 30 minutes, it may completely dry down, but I have not had any issues with it drying my skin out. There's what it looks like. And like I said, it does look pretty much like pond scum <laughs> when you put it on your skin. I almost thought with the, the gel base, I almost thought it was, it might have had honey in it, but it doesn't. And it definitely does have a um, herbally scent to it. So I've not ever have smelt mugwort um, prior to this. So I'm assuming that that is what I'm smelling is the mugwort. And 21% of what it's saying that it has in it. No, I'm sorry. It is not 21%. I did not see. It's 2.1%. So, 2.1% of the, the herb in it. So, but, and even putting it on my hand right now, I can definitely feel the, the coolness of it right there. Roll my sleeve up so I don't get it on my, my top. So, but I like it. And plus it has all of those other extracts in there that is really good for the skin that helps with it. And... It's just overall a good mask to have in your arsenal of skincare products. The next product that I'm going to be talking about is also from I'm From, and it's the Mugwort um, Essence. Now, this product is 100% Mugwort. That's all it has in it is just the Mugwort. There's nothing else in it except for Mugwort. I'm going to double check, make sure I'm not telling you something completely wrong. And this is all in Korean. Yep, 100% mugwort. It says it right there. 100% mugwort. That's all it's in there. Mugwort. Um, an essence, of course, you put on after your toner, before your serum. An essence will help to prep your skin and open up the gateway for your other products to help your um, serums and your moisturizers and everything else that you put on your skin to really help penetrate deep into the pores. This will help to calm, refine, um, purify the skin. It helps soothe the skin. It's hydrating. Again, it's just really good for sensitive, irritated skin. It's not going to um, dry you out. It's not going to irritate. It's just a really good essence to have on hand, especially this time of year. This will run you um, around $40 is what it will run you. You can probably find it on sale different places at different times. And um, it's hydrating. It's rich in vitamins, minerals, and detoxifying. And that's because the herb itself, the, the mugwort, is in itself is rich in vitamins and minerals itself. It's not because there's anything added to it. It's the mugwort itself that is um, those, those um, properties, rich in vitamins and minerals and detoxifying. So it's just a really good um, essence to have added into your essence skincare. And that's how you can add mugwort into your skincare regime. So, I said that there would be a <sighs> surprise at the end of the video, and there is, I'm doing a giveaway of the Mugwort Mask. I have two deluxe size samples of the Mugwort Mask, so there's going to be two winners of 
each each person will get one of these and there's gosh there's gonna be several 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 uses of this mask in here they have not been opened they are new and I haven't thought this far ahead and what I want you to put down in the description box on to enter the um, giveaway um, Oh, I should have thought ahead of this. I know, since this is the first video of 2020 and it's a new decade, just tell me what you hope to achieve um, this year as far as your skincare regime goes. What are you hoping to achieve with your skincare this year? There we go. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you found um, some interesting facts about mugwort. I sure did. And um, I hope that you will look forward to some more videos like this. I have several in mind of different things on what I want to do on how to incorporate into your skincare regime. Um, one me in the mugwort, I have one um, in white snail mucin, one being rice. Um, what are some other ones? The benefit of rice, snail mucin, um, AHAs, BHAs, different things like that is what, it's kind of a series. I kind of started it back in 2019. I did a few here and there, but I really want to do more of those here in 2020 and really kind of hone in on those, on different um, chemicals, different exfoliants, different ingredients that are beneficial to the skin and how you can incorporate those into your skincare. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <music>